So we have 1,200 ohms. And we're testing pins 10 and 2 at that data link connector on this EEC 5 module. And I'm going on the go diag box. I'm going with these two yellow wires marked 2 and 10 DLC. So that seems to be normal terminating resistance on this. 2000 EEC 5 SCP high and low wires. So I'm checking the serial communication protocol high and low wires, which I think stands for serial corporate protocol, but basically similar to CAN high and low on this EEC 5 computer. And uh, anyways, it's a 2000 Mercury Cougar I'm testing. We have our ground lead on the DBOM attached to the data link connector chassis ground. Go to pin 10 here. We have five volts, key on engine off. Goes away when you turn the key off. And then the SCP low is 0 0.02. We have nothing connected to the data link connector. So the computer has nothing to talk to. We check it next with a scantle hooked up. So 18 volts on the DLC power wire, pin 13 on this EEC 5 2000 Mercury Cougar. Without attaching that third wire for this EEC 5 programming, the computer won't communicate if you're using the factory IDS. It will communicate with that third wire if you're using a uh, J2534 scan tool. Now I'm not sure if this IDS will communicate. I believe it will without that third DLC power wire. So the DLC power wire seems to just be for programming. So 18 volts on DLC power terminal pin 13 on the Z5. And then while it's programming, our five volts is fluctuating on DLC high. I'm sorry, SCP high and then SCP low is fluctuating. So the SCP low biased key on engine off is zero volts and SCP high or positive key on engine off is biased five volts. So it's similar to CAM but not exactly the same.